Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our permadeath playthrough. Since I haven't gotten the, uh, the reach the center of the universe on permadeath, we're going to be going through this, and we just totally fixed our starship, so now let's take off and do some of the uh, starship tutorials. And I always like mine in third person, so I always switch mine over. So let's go to the gear and switch it. So I like looking at this beautiful ship. Look at this. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the Euclid Galaxy. We this or I discovered this. So now they're gonna go through the, some of the basics of how to boost and things like that. So let's hit the gas. Analyze the tritium hypercluster with X. All right, since we picked one up down on the uh, planet. Let's analyze this thing. And it'll give us more tritium. So now we did our boost. Now let's do our uh, pulse engines. Yeah. Let's get some of these uh, meteors. Oh, frequency on loan. Incoming transmission. Source 4925B. Please identify yourself. I'm blank. Well, let's identify yourself. You are not alone. Follow the... What? What am I supposed to follow? The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Well, where is this planet at? So now we have a set of coordinates. Let's get some of these asteroids so we can get some fuel. Back on the planet I just came from. Great. Oh, maybe not. This looks like it's far away. I wonder... Hopefully it's a really good planet. Please be a good planet. Oh, it's an anomaly planet. Okay. All right. So that's going to be our planet. Actually, since we're out here, what is this planet over here? It looks blue. Heminal. Okay, so that's a, a frozen planet. I was hoping it was a, a beautiful or an overgrown planet. What is this one over here? High energy. So that's going to be a radiation planet. Uh, let's go over to this anomaly planet. Closing in on the signal. I do like the starter fighter. I mean, the wings are okay. I don't like the nose on it, though. It needs to be a long nose hot rod ship. Yeah. Look at these columns. And this looks like a crash, but there's nothing here. Let's see. The sparking wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left this message is long gone. All right. Decoding 16, 16, 16. Entry 4925C, no fuel. Fail to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to go underground. Deployed a base computer. As well as the log entry, the signal contains a pl contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Hey, give it to me. Base computer right there. But we're going to need chromatic metal in order to make that. Thankfully, we have a terrain manipulator. Woo! We can build one of these and that way we can get some uh, copper. So let's go over to our multi-tool. 
We can install our terrain manipulator, but we're going to need carbon nanotubes and I hydrogen jelly. We don't have any of those built right now, but we can totally make them. So dihydrogen jelly right here and carbon nanotubes. I believe we need two. So we'll make two right now. And was I right? I was right. Woo. Thank God. I'm usually not right. All right. Dihydrogen jelly nanotubes. Our terrain manipulator is built. So now we can dig underground. So we can also get a deposit. So let's look around. Oh, there's a glitching separator right over here. This is going to be a cool trophy for later. Pick that thing up. So that's a, a cool thing you can build at your base to prove that you've been to a, uh, a pillared planet. Oh man, they're all over the place. Okay. But we're looking for deposits and that's a silver. We need a copper gold i don't it's silver and gold there's a copper around here somewhere but it looks like it might be rare so let's actually take a walk oh there's a buried technology module let's actually get one of these because we can sell these for a good price so when you get close you should see yeah see it pops up underground right there so with if you're within what 40 i think 40 units it'll pop up but if you don't want to you know wait for it you can actually scan it from about a hundred units away you can see it through your visor but when you get close enough it just shows you whoa i have my uh terrain manipulator set to huge so we might need to change that all right we got two let's go look for some copper a few moments later so here we go now you can see the deposit right there we have a copper deposit oh and we have a uh glitching separator right next to it that is man i have never seen so many of these cool anomaly trophies before ever it feels like all of a sudden because i'm not needing them i can find them all over the place that's crazy so as always you guys know the general rule if you're mining a deposit you can actually let me pull out my terrain manipulator you see how the the bubble is huge you can make it bigger and smaller using the left and right bumpers on your D-pad or on your uh, controller or L1 and R1 on your PS4 controller. See? Bigger means it'll get rid of it faster, but you won't get as many resources. That's more for like digging holes if you're building a base. Smaller is for mining resources because it'll use more fuel from your terrain manipulator, but you'll get more resources from the deposit. You see that? Look at that. It's barely making a dent and I'm getting a lot of resources. So you always want to use the smallest one if you're trying to get the most resources. So let's get this copper deposit. Just to check to see how much I have. Woo. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot. I forgot we're on a permadeath so our stacks max out at 250 you see that so no matter what you can only get 250 in one stack which is a killer in uh permadeath mode you guys holy mackerel so i could keep getting more but oh, wait a minute we don't need to flatten we need to mine it so i'm gonna just make two different stacks because copper it takes two copper to make one chromatic metal so whatever you have in copper just cut it in half, and that's how much chromatic metal you will get. So I think, yeah, we're good. And then we have 35. Okay, I, I could live with that. All right, where'd our, uh, our starship is only right over there. So let's head back because I don't want to make a base here. It would be cool, but there's not very many resources, and so it would make my life a lot more difficult. So we're going to find a really cool planet to make a base on. Yeah, so we made it back, but I think we're gonna have a problem. We're gonna take off. We don't have any launch fuel. But because I was thinking ahead, I got a whole bunch of dihydrogen while we were walking around looking for the copper. Let's put the gold and silver down here. I know it's weird. But in order to get some launch fuel, we can see right here we need metal plating and dihydrogen. We have the dihydrogen, but we need to make the metal plating. So we need 50 ferrite dust. Got it. And now let's make a launch fuel. Boom. And it fills you up all the way. So 
You want to make sure you basically are empty when you use one of those because it will give you a full tank when you do. Now we're set. What planet are we going to make our base on? So my plan is I'm going to make it on our first, our original cold planet. It seems like the best planet in the system so far. And what I'm going to be looking for is a minor settlement. Now, just to make my life a little bit easier, because minor settlements will give you a whole bunch of upgrades. So what we're looking for are buildings, specifically either a minor settlement itself or an antenna that stretches out above the, uh, the ground, because those transmission towers will point you in the direction of a uh, minor settlement. So let's look for it. And there we go. You see that tower right there or that like antenna? That's what you're looking for because this will point you in the direction of the nearest minor, minor settlement. Woo! Let's activate this thing real fast. There it is right over there. And while we're here, I saw some red boxes, containers. Yep. Always, always check these things out. You'll get free materials. Always. Get rid of that junk. We don't need any ferrite dust right now. Microprocessor. I will take that. Those things are expensive when you first start out. Let's get going. Launch thruster. Oh, my... Zero. So we were using 50% of our launch thruster fuel each time we launch. Oof. We definitely need to get some upgrades for our starship. I don't know what it is, but this game is so beautiful. Look at that. Just blue and rocky. It is so beautiful. It's like a tundra. Well, let's land right here. So the, every uh, minor sentiment is going to have a uh, landing pad on it. And the benefit for a landing pad is you don't use any launch fuel when you launch from a landing pad. So that's always a great benefit. You want to keep that going. But, oh wait, I don't even know why I got back in it, but I wanted to show you this instead. What you want to do is make sure you have launch fuel right in there anyway. Look at that ferrite dust. Let's get over here. So awesome. Now we need to make some uh, chromatic metal and we need our, uh, our portable... Uh, refiner. Well, I had a brain fart there, you guys. Pop that thing down. You know what? Actually, there should be a, a small building around here somewhere. Oh, there's no shelter? Usually they have an open building that you can kind of go into. I guess not. Well, can I make a refiner in here? Oh, I can. Well, perfect. I will refine my stuff inside a building. That way I don't have to lose my... Uh, my hazard protection. Let's put the uh, condensed carbon in there. And we will put our uh, copper in there. And you see it says two to one. So it takes two copper to make one metallic chromatic metal. So let's uh, do that. And we were gonna, oh man, two minutes, woof. So while we're doing that, let's actually look at that. Extract some nanites. Oh, we have nanites. So technically, oh no, did I stop? Okay. So th we'll keep that going, but actually I'm gonna go into the miner settlement Let's see what they have for sale. Maybe we can buy some stuff. I don't have very much money. Oof. I have 10,000 bucks and 140 nanites. That's not going to get you very far. Navigational data. I was hoping for nanites on that one. Let's search their uh, containers. Don't mind me. I'm just stealing your stuff. And oh, look at that multi-tool. Oh. That is a cool multi-tool. It's a C-Class, but it has way more slots. You see? Way more slots than my current one. And it's a rifle. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. I like the blue and the yellow. But it's going to cost millions, right? It's going to cost us uh, 1.5 million. And I only got 10,000 bucks. So no way I can make that yet. But we will get money eventually. So don't you worry about it. Let's get some Ninites right here. Oh, and the other thing is, while you're waiting for your nanites, you can actually go into your discoveries. 
And if you upload your discoveries, you actually get nanites for them. So you see how there's a, like a, a little arrow icon next to this animal? A little Bambi with a, a small head. If you upload it, you receive like this one. I get fi five nanites for that. And you can rename them if you want. I don't really, you know, unless it's a special planet, I don't really do that. I just go with whatever the generic, like, auto-generated name is. So we just made 20 nanites for that. And if we find all of the fauna, all of the animals on this planet, we get 300 nanites. And I have found four out of six. So I only need two more animals, and I'll get a bonus of 300 nanites. That's pretty awesome. But don't you worry about that, because we could also upload our plant ones. We get three nanites for that. And our minerals, we get uh, three nanites for the, each one of these. So yeah, look at we're kicking butt. We're getting a lot of free nanites, but there's even more. You can go to every planet, like we're on this planet right here. We can actually upload the planet, and we will get ten nanites if we just upload the planet information. So of course we're gonna do that, and it will credit you with the discovery. And again, you can also change the name to whatever you'd like within reason. They have filters. Don't worry about that. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of nanites. So now we're at 261 nanites. So, whoop, where's my uh, vendor? Now this vendor will give you blueprints as well as the pieces to make those blueprints. So let's go in here and check out what he has. Can't understand a word you're saying, man. Sorry, I haven't learned your language yet. But we can purchase components. So those are the pieces to make the blueprints or we can just make the blueprints or buy the blueprints. So let's buy the, some blueprints. Let's look and see how much they cost. So look at that, we can get the teleport receiver. That'll let you uh, teleport some items to your starship. It, there is still a limit, but it extends that limit. I think it's about 100 feet. So you don't have to be right next to your uh, your starship. You can actually teleport anything right to it from 100 feet. We have our advanced mining laser right there. We can get some other upgrades like that. A therm <laughs> thermic layer, whoa, wait a minute. We can actually get that, but we need to be a uh, rank three with the Corvax. So we need to do some more missions for them for us to like it, for them to like us more. I'm going to buy the um, mining laser and the teleport receiver for our, our awesome uh, starship. Now we can put it in our multi-tool. We could do the advanced mining laser. I'm going to. Yeah, we could totally do that because we need wiring loom. Oh, wiring loom. Wait a minute. Before we try, wiring loom can be expensive. So let's go in here and he will sell us the pieces. So let's do it. 48,000 bucks for each one. Whoa. Yeah. So that's going to be a while before we can afford that. That's fine. And actually, we should go back because our, our chromatic metal should be pretty much done. That was a terrible one, by the way. Oh, look at that. There's a uh, a technology module right here. Buried technology. So I'm going to get this real fast. Make a bigger bubble. See, that's the one thing. You don't want to use a small bubble for holes because then you can't fit down there. Let's get it. How many should I get? I got two salvage data. Now, I could go in there and sell him my salvage data because if I do right now, I have... 200,000 bucks saved up for my salvage data. That is definitely a good amount of money. That's a good amount of cash. I could buy some upgrades for that. So there we go. 125 chromatic metal because we put 250 in there. I'm also going to put in another. Oh, we're going to add more to it. Our other stack. Oh, we don't have any fuel. So let's put more carbon in there. So we're going to make some more. And I believe the maximum you can have in here is a, it's 250. So we're going to put this on our exosuit just to make sure. Let's stop. Okay. Yeah. We're going to make the maximum number right there. It take a couple more minutes. So you know what? That I thought about it. I think I'm going to sell my uh, buried technology. Get some cash. Oh God. Life support. Whoa. It's super low. Wow. I wasn't even thinking about that. Wow. That life support went down fast. So I'm going to sell him some stuff, make some cash. Yep. Don't know what you're saying still. So I think you can go to either one. So let's just uh, purchase components. 
And then up here, instead of buy, you want to go to sell, and he, you could sell him anything in your inventory. So we can sell him to Cobalt and get 51,000 for that. I'm going to keep that for now. We can sell him the Albion Pearls. We should, because you can't use it for anything else except for selling. Like, you don't need it to make anything else. So we're going to sell all three of those for 32,000. That's pretty good. Our salvage data will get 198,000 because he doesn't really need it. That's why it's a negative 1%. But we're still making a ton of profit, so we'll sell that. And we can actually use our platinum to make nanite, so we won't sell that to him. We can sell our geek relic for 23,000. We're going to keep our navigational data. And it looks like we're good. We're clean. So, yep, we're good to go on all of this stuff. I know, I'm going to organize it. Sorry, I have to. It's like a compulsion. I have to. Oh, we have two cargo slots. I love that. They're random, but we have two of them. Now, the difference between cargo and general is the general can only hold 250 in one slot. The cargo can hold 500 because it's a bigger part of your backpack. So for a lot of your stuff that you're going to pick up a lot of, I would say put in your carbon, put in your oxygen, those items that you're going to be using a lot of. And you're going to be picking up a lot of. And if you really need extra slots, you can always put your, you can move your technology. So you can put your jetpack in your technology slots. This is the only place, the, the technology slot will only take technology. Like if you try to put in your, your ferrite dust, it won't let you. You can only place your technology in there. So let's do that. So now we have extra room in our general inventory. So there you go. Now, we can make an advanced laser for our mining beam. We're going to need to buy some wiring loom, though, so let's do that. Well, after we, you know, install it. Purchase component. And we can buy three of them for 145000 so let's do that. And we can also, we can make the other items we need. So we have, we have the one part. We have the wiring loom, but we need a hermetic seal. And I wasn't paying attention. Carbon tubes, one of each. So let's make uh, carbon nanotubes and a hermetic seal. We need, oh, we need condensed carbon for that. Woof. I was not paying attention to that at all. So let's go get some carbon. We just picked up a whole bunch. These little plants give you a ton of carbon. Look at this. Okay, so... I'm at zero. Wait a minute. I'm at 500 right there. So I have some leak over 91. It won't go in here because we only have 500 and that's the maximum you can get. Watch this. That little plant gave me 191 carbon. Whoa, that is crazy. And we're picking up regular carbon because we could put it in the refiner and make condensed carbon. And especially since we just, yep. All right, chromatic metal is finished, so we'll put that away. And then we still have fuel in here. So let's just put some regular carbon in here. And you see it's two to one. So two regular carbon make one condensed carbon. That makes sense. And it's only gonna take us about a minute to do that. So while we're waiting, I am gonna put a base computer down right here next to this minor settlement. This'll be our cool little shop area. So you know what, right here, that sounds good. And we just need 30 chromatic metal. We totally have enough, so we're going to put it down. Searching cartographic archives. Uh, no claims. All right, we're going to claim it. Yeah. So now we can activate these uh, records. Let's actually go back. I want to make some, uh, I want to finish off my advanced mining laser before we go into those archives, you guys. Open the door. So we got our advanced carbon. So we need a hermetic seal. Got it. Now we can finish off our advanced mining laser. Two, dun, dun, dun score and we can put some of that in there refill all this like a silicate 
done and done. We'll pick up our portable refiner. So we are set. Oh, wait a minute. We can make our uh, teleport receiver for our starship. Because if you see right now, you see starship is out of range. And I mean, I mean, you can literally see it. I'm like, what? I am 54 feet away from it. I still can't transfer anything to it. So you need to be like right next to it in order to transfer anything right now. But we can put in a teleport receiver. Right here, we need, um, oh, we need two more wiring loom. Dang it. Well, we can wait for our uh, merchant to get a restock and then we need to make antimatter. I don't even know the recipe for that, do I? Can I make antimatter right now? I cannot, so I don't even know the recipe for that yet. But that's okay. When we learn it, I'll be able to make it. We'll be good to go. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time. And I will see you guys in the next one.